Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing this simplified micro projector which goes by the name UC40 online. So I actually got this one off Amazon for around 80 bucks and it plays a bunch of different files from USB, it supports SD card as well and it doesn't display in high resolution but it works. So let's get the box open. In the box we get this UC40 user guide, uh, power adapter, and an AV cable. All of which you can see over here. This is the projector running. I have a Roku plugged in, and this is a 3-in-1 AV cable where you can plug everything in. Let's see the ports, AV. Uh, audio, AV, HDMI, USB, a USB out, and then an SD card slot over here. Here you can see I have a wall where it's projecting. You can't see it really well because it's only 800 lumens. So I'm going to turn the light off. Now that the light is off, you can see it's projecting on the whole wall. The text isn't really clear. It's a bit fuzzy because of the resolution. It's like a 480p. And right now my screen size is 120 inches. I'm projecting from about 12 feet away. So if you're watching like a um, typical TV show, it works just fine. But if you're going to watch something like a game and play a video game on it with a bunch of text, it's not going to be suitable for that. I'm going to record myself walking around. So here's a little bit of gameplay. I'm playing on my PlayStation 3 right now just so you get an idea of how that looks. And then we can transition over into a TV show. Right, so that's the clearest I can get it. Initially when I got it, the red was so pink that it was unbearable and I had to adjust some of the color settings on it. Oh, someone is shooting at me right now and I am dead. It's kind of hard when you're playing with one hand on the controller. Okay everyone, lights on. Once again, you can s barely see the projector, which the projector is playing from there, about 12 feet away. So 800 lumens is not enough to pretty much go through the light. Let's go turn this off. I'm on Vivo app right now, and the Vivo lettering is a bit fuzzy. You can see there's some lettering on the bottom left. And some coloring. So this is bearable. Like it's watchable, but my girlfriend says she's getting like a headache if she sees too many things moving or it's it's a bit fuzzy for her. Which I do see what she's saying. Like watching this projector for a while can make you feel that way. Back on the Roku menu and we can select the TV show. But first, if you look on the left side menu where it says home, my feed, it shows up a bit fuzzy around the edges. This projector does pretty well focusing in the center, but as you get towards the edge, it has a bit of a problem focusing over there. Netflix menu, now we can select the show. Okay, so watching cartoons, you can see the lines, it's um, fuzziness around the edges. Not sure if you can see it on the phone, projecting at this distance. You can see the cartoon just fine, just the lines that are bothersome sometimes. Like this particular frame with the dog looks just so fine. But as they pan out, some blurriness along the edges of the screen. So again, you can see it, just some fuzziness. And it bother it's enough to bother my girlfriend to not want to watch this. But hey, other than that, if you can live with the fuzziness, this projector will work for you.
But once again, just keep what I have in mind, keep what I've said in mind regarding text and all that other stuff. But if that works, then that works. Projected for under $100 from China.